Hi you guys, me Matt Forget 15 Jalen here. Today I have a Adobe Photoshop CS4 tutorial for you guys. Today we're going to actually be making a 3D or so let's get started opening um, Adobe Adobe Photoshop CS4. You want to go to File, New, and you want to make your width 250 and you want to make your height 250. So click OK. Then you want to make a new layer. Then you want to go to your foreground and make it any color as you want. I'm just going to pick green. Then you want to go to your um, paint bucket tool. And then you want to fill that layer all green. So then after that, you want to go to filter, render, and you want to go to lens fair. Then you want to have it at 105 mm prime and you want to have it stretched out to about um, 126 so it can look like that so then you click OK so it'll be something like that then you want to go to filter to sort and you want to go to polar coordinates so basically this is what it's going to look like, you know, looks weird. So it's going to look like that. Then you want to click OK. Then you want to go to Edit, Transform. Then you want to uh, flip it vertically. So now it's vertical. Then you want to go to Filter again. Then you want to go to Distort. Then you want to go to Polar Coordinates. Then you want to um, you want to get it off of polar to rectangular. You want to have it rectangular to polar now, so it can look like that. So then you want to go to now. You want to use your um, your elliptical marquee tool, and you want to make a at least a perfect circle about this big, and you can hold shift if you want to, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Then you want to right click on your mouse if you don't um if you don't you have to use your trackpad. And um you want to go to a layer via cut. So it'll look something like that cuz it just cut it. Then you want to go to layer style layer and blending options. You have a lot of blending options here. So you want to go to your integralo you want to have it at 80%. Then you want to have um, your foreground color all the way to white. Then after that, you want to have your size 27. Then you want to have everything else the same at the bottom. Then you want to go to your gradient overlay. It may do that, but okay, you can change it. Then after that, you want to go to you, you want to um, go to your blending mode. Sorry about that. And you want to go to soft light, so it can look like that. Then after that, you want to reverse your gradient color, so you want to have it about like that. You want to have it um, foreground to transparent. Then after that, you want to have your style reflect. Then everything else is the same. Then after that, you're basically finished. So this is how to make a 3D orb. And um, yeah, more Photoshop so we will be coming. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash 15 for more exclusive content. And um... So that's basically it, and my next video is going to be another Adobe Photoshop um, tutorial on how to make spikes. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. So see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, one more thing I wanted to say. Go check out yourmacaccessories.com um, by iTalkApple. Here is what her website looks like. You can get pictures on here. We have uh, new pictures as well. So you can put any... Uh, accessory on here um, that's Apple related or you know yeah so go check 
out this website. It's www.yourmagaccessory.com. It's by Apple. So, yeah, you guys go check that out, and I'll see you guys later.